It's breakfast time in Niakar village in Senegal. Today there's enough millet for the children to eat as much as they want. But food hasn't always been this plentiful. In this arid area, temperatures are high and rainfall is low. And farmers like Kumba Nofinsene have struggled to grow millet here. And with most Senegalese preferring imported food, the millet they do produce is also difficult to sell. But this year, everything has changed. Our production has more than doubled, almost tripled. Before, we could not even get to one ton of millet. But now we produce two or three tons per year. And this is more than we can eat in a single year. So we sell the surplus to pay for other things we need. These changes in Kumba's life are part of a bigger government initiative known as the Agricultural Value Chain Support Program funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, among its goals to increase rural incomes, create jobs, and reduce the six-month hungry season, all based on a very simple idea, developing a taste for local foods, as project evaluator Abdoulaye Ba explains. If people consumed what is being produced locally instead of importing rice, the revenues would be reintroduced into the agricultural sector. This would develop agriculture in the area and increase the incomes of the rural households. This, in turn, would improve the economy of the whole country. To bring about these changes, farmers needed encouragement to grow local crops, like this millet. So far, almost 9,000 farmers have been trained to use new methods and improve seeds and fertilizers that produce higher yields and better quality crops. But there is no sense in producing more if there is no one to buy it. So the project team had to work with the surrounding community to encourage them to eat local foods. About 700 women so far have been trained to cook with local crops not only are they cheaper and more nutritious than imported rice, they've also provided the inspiration for new businesses. This group of women have started combining different local cereals and are packaging it as porridge for babies, selling it in their own shop as well as in the capital. Since the training, many restaurants in this area offer only locally grown food. Restaurant manager Aysa Tusise used to struggle to earn a living. Now local food and recipes not only give her an income, but she sees it as the future for the whole country. This can develop our economy. Our economy cannot grow if we keep importing. We need to consume what we produce here in Senegal. It is much better. And the economy is certainly improving in this area. With a strong local market, Kumba and the other farmers were able to expand their production. Working with the project team, they built a new storehouse, and they can now sell their produce throughout the year without worrying about market fluctuations. With a quality crop and so much surplus to sell, they were able to negotiate regular sales to Nestlé in Ghana. This has had an enormous impact on their lives and incomes. Before, Kumba could hardly feed his family, but this year, he can pay his five children's school fees and buy them new clothes. He has even invested in a new business, raising chickens. I'm not only improving the diet of the family, but also I'm taking care of the needs of the children. So I think it's had a tremendous impact, which has allowed me to move forward in my life. So far, IFAD has worked with 250,000 people in this area to grow, sell and eat local foods. The hungry season here has now decreased from six months to less than one month. More than 5,000 previously unemployed people now have jobs. And farmers are finally earning a living. All this from encouraging people to eat what they grow.